Hello everybody and welcome back once again for another amazing update of DIY investing. The cryptocurrency markets are absolutely exploding. I think that this gives us all the confirmation that we needed to figure out whether we are actually in this bull run or not. This has been a really exciting time over the last couple of weeks. We've had a number of different altcoins popping up 20, 30, and some even 100%. BSV is really leading that charge. A lot of people will, that will make angry to hear that. But overall, this could not get any better for the cryptocurrency markets. I'm so excited to share with this update with you guys because we have so many different things to talk about in today's update. For today's video, we're going to be diving in and I'm going to be talking to you guys about some updated Bitcoin technical analysis. We're going to go through, analyze some things, look at some new levels that I'm watching so we can fully determine if this bear market is over. On top of that, we're also going to be diving into XRP and I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I expect to see from XRP and how we can actually know when XRP is bullish and the bear market has reversed. All of these are very important aspects towards trading and I wanted to keep you guys updated with all of my thoughts and perspectives moving forward. Overall, I'm so excited with what the market's giving us and I cannot wait to share with you guys my updated price targets for the long term of cryptocurrency. If you're new and just finding this channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and then click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any updates like the one provided for you here. Remember guys, I have a course and signal, so if you guys want to follow my own personal trades and follow my trading plan and develop some portfolio management based off of my analysis, or you guys just want to follow some educational content so that you guys can learn all of the same strategies that I use to profit inside of cryptocurrency, make sure you guys join the Discord server by clicking the invitation link in the description of this video, and there you're going to get full access here. Currently, we have over 1,600 members, and it's growing very, very quickly. I'd love to have you guys in here. Lots of new members growing and congregating within the community every single day, so it's an excellent resource to learn and grow as a trader. With all that being said, guys, thank you all so much for the support. It really does mean a lot to me. We just hit 9K subscribers, and so it's really mind-blowing to see how quick the channel's growing. Help me to get to my next goal of 10K subscribers. It would really mean a lot to me. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. With all that being said, guys, let's jump right into the analysis. So here we are guys taking a look at XRP on the dollar. Now if you guys remember from some of my other videos, I told you guys that I was going to start doing the altcoin analysis first because you guys are generally here for the altcoin analysis. If you want to see my Bitcoin analysis, you'll just have to wait until I get done with this first part of the altcoin update and then you guys can see what I'm expecting with Bitcoin moving forward. Now the thing about XRP is the fact that this one has maintained a pretty severe bear market this entire retrace uh, where other coins made a higher high XRP has continued to fall and partially that's one of the reasons why I've been buying so much of it is because yes there's added risk involved with this but at the same time there is actually more upside potential than a lot of the other major coins and so I've been a big buyer on top of that I've been watching a fractal and I've updated you guys very significantly with that fractal because I feel like it's very important that we watch out for that now some things that I'm noticing inside of XRP uh, before we jump into that let's actually just go through and analyze kind of the fractal that I was seeing for some of you new guys that maybe haven't seen it as much XRP uh, is creating this market cycle fractal and this fractal is almost identical to the current bear market consolidation and really my reason for pointing this out is because I think that a lot of people are very shaken out of XRP's market a lot of people big accounts especially will talk down on XRP they oftentimes say a lot of negative things about it and to be quite honest it's one of the best performing altcoins uh, over the last six years it's continued to stay in the top five in market cap I really don't see that changing anytime soon and I especially think that it's going to see a lot of institutional adoption when that money starts flowing into it. Now the way that the fractals work is we go through these three stages. We have the parabolic rise. Once we top out we start the bear market retrace. Now something that I found that was really interesting about this was the fact that the new year is the time of reversals inside of XRP. So at this new year it happened to be a bear market reversal and then Two years of bear market, we always have a bullish reversal. So two years later would put us about right here. And then we go into the next major bull run, right? And now this next cycle is behaving very, very similarly. Now, very similar like the first cycle, we have a big parabolic run. We have three 
big parabolic rallies. And then what follows next is our major descending resistance that holds us for pretty much the majority of the bear market. And then finally, what ends up happening the new year, remember guys, we have one year bull cycles and two year bear markets. And so two years from 2018 puts us at 2020, January 1st. And so that would have put us at about right here. And from that point, we've basically just been doing nothing but impulsing. And so this is what I was talking to you guys about. Forgot one of them right here. So this would have been the bear market retrace. This is something I've noticed inside of XRP is the fact we go through these big parabolic hype cycles. Now at the new year, we start to retrace. The bear markets are two years long in duration. Now, right before the new year, we have this major breakout of the descending resistance. So in the last cycle, we had the parabolic run. We started this downtrending resistance. This is, this is what's to be expected inside of a bear market where we're just making lower highs and lower lows. Finally, we get a major breakout in the volume and price breaks outside of this descending resistance. We follow one more low to retest that previous descending resistance as support. And then we go into the next cycle. And this takes place shortly after the new year. And this is almost the exact same thing that we're seeing in current day. We make a new hype cycle, three big parabolic rises. We have this short-term descending resistance that holds us lower lows and lower highs all the way down. Finally, we get a volume breakout right here. Price breaks outside of this descending resistance. And then we fall to one more low to retest that previous descending resistance, which is now acting as support. Now, what's interesting to me is the fact that we weren't getting an impulse until right after the new year. And so this is following this time frame analysis that I've been sharing with you guys is following it perfectly. I told you guys that I was expecting a major bull run to ensue after the new year because that's just the way it works thus far. I said it's possible that we could go for one more low and that's still a possibility that I'm watching for. Um, we could very easily retrace from where we're at, fall to one more low that would take us to about 15 cents. And then that would be the bottom in which I would assume. Now, it's possible that we could have already bottomed at about 18 cents, 17 cents, right around that area. And so this is kind of what I'm watching out for with XRP. Now, overall, guys, this is a fractal that I've been watching for a while because it's one of the most symmetrical fractals I've ever seen. To, to be quite honest, it's the most symmetrical fractal I've ever seen in cryptocurrency. I've been staring at charts every single day for four years, and I've never seen one uh, play out this identical to the previous cycles. And so obviously there's a lot of algorithms that are running on XRP. I have no idea who is doing it, but what I can say is there's people buying this, and this is gonna have a very profitable market cycle. Now, kind of what I'm seeing, guys, um, and let's actually go through and remove all drawing tools real quick so that we can so that we can see kind of my updated thoughts and analysis. So what we've been seeing up to this point is the fact that since the bear market started, we've seen lower highs and lower lows all the way through. We keep getting rejected at resistance and we fall lower. We've yet to make a higher high this entire bearish cycle and we just continuously get knocked lower and lower. Now, this is the thing that happens inside of a bearish trend. You always see us fall, su fail support, go lower, make a lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. This one didn't make a lower high, but a lower low, but we made a lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. And so right now, guys, technically speaking, until we break out of this trend, this current bear market consolidation, this is nothing more than another lower high. And so we really need to be paying attention for this. I know a lot of people are excited about what the cryptocurrency market's doing. And with Bitcoin breaking out, that leads me to believe that I have a lot more faith in this actually being the bottom. But we still need to be weary about things because of the fact, guys, every single time we sell through support, we get rejected and that previous support now becomes resistance and then we fall to another low. And so this was the previous resistance right here. Look how close we are. We're literally right at that resistance zone. We're retesting that almost right where we're at now. And so if we don't break outside of this, then the only logical explanation that we have for it to happen would be a sell off back down to one more low. And I would actually assume that that low would take us to about 15 cents or roughly the very bottom of our 2017 consolidation about right there. So this is what I'm watching out for inside of XRP. Now I am very excited about this, don't get me wrong. I'm very hyped about the fact that we are going up. We're seeing some nice um, buyback happening inside of the altcoin market, but I can't 
say that this the bottom is in quite yet and nobody really can at this point anybody that's trying to tell you that the bottom is in um, doesn't know what levels they're watching now I know that this fractal looks identical to the last cycles but with fractals they're never going to be 100% exact and it more often than not um, it's going to be a little bit different so kind of what I'm watching out for with XRP is the fact that we make lower highs and lower lows now 30 cents was basically our support floor throughout the majority of our bear market consolidation and we just started selling through that and so what really needs to happen as of right now is the fact that we have to make a higher high we've made higher we've made lower lows and lower highs the entire consolidation but right now we are at a very decisive point where we have to break out and make a higher high otherwise we're going to get rejected and we're going to fall to one more low now the fact that we're so close at resistance leads me to believe that we very easily could experience a pullback at this time. Now if we get that big strong impulse and it takes us upwards of about it's about 25 cents, um, that should be enough for us to hold support here but we really really have to hold support above where we're at right now. Now kind of what I'm watching for is something along the lines of this. I want to see us consolidate on the support, make a higher high and then that will set us up for about a 45 cent XRP. We might fall back down to about 35 cents, consolidate here before going up even higher. And so this is what I'm watching out for with XRP currently. The fact that a lot of people on Twitter, a lot of influencers will try and shill you that the bottom is in. And the fact of the matter is almost all of those people don't know how to trade technical analysis. And really technical analysis is really a small part of trading. I mean, any idiot can draw charts and predict where price is gonna go, but it takes a special kind of person to actually be able to profit inside of the market using technical analysis. And so what I'm seeing currently is a lot of euphoria amongst Twitter, a lot of euphoria on YouTube. I'm seeing all of these influencers really hyping up XRP, saying the bottom is, it, saying the bottom is in, shilling really high price targets again. And every single time this has happened up to this point, XRP drops. And so I want you guys to make sure that you're safe. I want you to be aware of these things so that you're not stuck FOMOing in right at resistance because every single time up to this point we've hit resistance, we've made a lower low. So I just wanted you guys to be updated with that. Now, overall, this is looking really nice. I love the fact that we're impulsing so high. I would absolutely love to see us break up higher than this and then hold support and make a higher high because that to me would prove that the bear market is over inside of XRP. Now we do have this little bit of a descending resistance right here and we're basically like right at that. Now you could count this wick right here to be a little bit more conservative, but this was the current consolidation that we're seeing this lower low. Um, we need to either break out, well, what, the most ideal scenario would be us to break outside of this little descending resistance that we have here and then retest support and then land on support and have a confirmed support and resistance flip. And so this is basically what I'm watching out for with XRP. I wanted you guys to make sure that you were updated with all of my thoughts and analysis. I haven't talked about XRP for a little bit. This is one of my better altcoins that I'm holding a significant portion of, of my portfolio because I do have a lot of faith in this one performing well. But at the same time, I know how the cycles work. Um, I know that in a bear market, we have to make a higher high before we can even go up in the next bull cycle. With seeing so many different people shelling uh, really high price targets on Twitter, it makes me feel like the euphoria is really setting into the market. And previously, just a pattern that I've noticed has been every time this has happened, we always reject and make a lower low. And so I would love for this to be the first time that the trend actually changes. But I want you guys to be aware of these things uh, before they actually happen. So this is what I'm watching out for with XRP. Really, we need to reclaim this previous resistance. We need to uh, reclaim it as support. And then we can continue on in the cycle. But if we can do this and we can actually maintain support and make a higher high, then the next impulses are going to get very big, in my opinion. I think that that's going to be a clear indication that smart money is going to keep accumulating that dip. Uh, really, it's the first higher high that smart money starts buying because they're smart enough to see it before it happens, right? And so this is the analysis I had with XRP for you guys. If you guys like this analysis, always remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Now, for you guys that are ready to see the Bitcoin analysis, let's actually switch screens and take a look at what I'm expecting to see with Bitcoin. So here we are, guys, taking a look at Bitcoin on the dollar. Now, this has been a big question as far as when is the bear market actually going to be done? When is the short-term bear market consolidation going to be over? Are we ready to start impulsing again? Now, you had so many different people drawing different trend lines. 
people were drawing them like clear out here and they said oh well we got rejected once again we're gonna make a new low i personally said that we broke out um so i was playing it a little bit more risky i guess and i wasn't playing it as conservative as other traders would be but i t already told you guys that i thought it broke out now the fact that we're getting another major impulse out of this actually proves that we have broken out because now we've exited even all of the descending resistance with the wicks and so there's really no descending resistance that we haven't cleared yet and so things are looking very good inside of bitcoin now one of the things that i was personally watching for and the reason why i thought we broke out was because if you switch it to a line chart it really helps to minimize all of the noise involved now with the line chart we broke out retested and then we started impulsing again and so this was what i was watching for and i told you guys that right here we broke out a lot of people didn't believe me but personally i don't care i follow my own analysis and i felt like this was a confirmed breakout at this point now we consolidated here for like seven months inside of this falling wedge and that's actually what I'm gonna call this chart pattern. Now, the way that I like to trade falling wedges is I like to have at least seven reactions to the descending resistance. And so if we drop it to regular time scale, let's see how many reactions we got inside of this cycle. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we had 10. I shoot for seven. This was a very contracting falling wedge. It's one of the most symmetrical falling wedges I've personally ever seen inside of cryptocurrency. And it doesn't really surprise me that it came inside of Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the biggest driver of value in the cryptocurrency market. Bitcoin has the most symmetrical chart patterns that ever existed in my opinion. You won't find this type of stuff on a stock market chart uh, because it's just a different sort of uh, beast entirely. Now, the fact that we're breaking out right now and seeing such a strong impulse um, my next target is going to be $9,500 and I actually updated you guys already with that. So 9,500 puts us at about right here, roughly the top of this resistance. I think that it's possible that we're going to hit up to this level. I would say anywhere from about 9,400 to 9,500 would be roughly the top for Bitcoin. Now altcoins can very easily start dropping beforehand because they're still majority of them are still in a bear market. They failed to make a higher high, specifically XRP. But this is kind of what I'm watching out for with Bitcoin. Now a falling wedge is a reversal pattern, and it's always and it's also a bullish continuation pattern. And so I do expect this one to get very bullish quickly. Now. Where does this stack up as far as long term? Where can we expect to see Bitcoin from here on out? Now, what I've been updating you guys with is the fact that this is just a big one wave as far as Elliott Wave Theory goes. And what's coming next is the three wave. Now, the three wave is the most impulsive of the Elliott Wave cycles. And so I'm expecting us to have another big impulse. Now, we have to have at least an impulse the same exact size as the one wave. And so that would put us at the all-time high mark. We have to at least hit all-time highs for this to even be a confirmed Elliott Wave impulse. And so I am expecting it to at least go to 20K. 20K is my next target, but I actually think that we'll surpass that number. I think it's more probable that we actually break outside of that 20K. We very easily could hit 30K in this next impulse. We might sell off, retest this previous high and then have one more final impulse that could potentially take us up to about 40K. And then this would really, guys, this, which is interesting as hell, this would be the one wave, right? And then we'd have another three wave, and then we'd have another big five wave. And so this is what I'm watching out for inside of Bitcoin. I think that the next three wave could very easily take us to about 100K Bitcoin. Might have a short-term retrace there, sell off a little bit, and then we could hit upwards of 150 to 200k now i have no idea how high this thing is going to get exactly and it's impossible for us to know once we break that all-time high and go into price discovery we don't know how much institutional money is going to be flooding into this we don't know how many how many retail investors are going to be flooding into this this one could be the very biggest cycle that we've ever seen and so it's important that we pay attention to this overall i'm just mapping out the waves and showing you guys how i think it'll look uh, with this next wave being the three wave impulse um, I think that this next one is going to get pretty parabolic and actually break the all-time high mark. And so that's why I've been telling everybody to accumulate average into this position inside of Bitcoin. I've already done my part by averaging into this. I averaged in at 9,100. First bids got rung at 9,100, about right there. Second bids got filled at 8,350, so about right there. And then our third bids got set at 76, so about right there. 
Now, unfortunately, I did not get filled on my lower bid at 63. We were just about $150 shy of that target, which sucks, but it's whatever, guys. I have an average entry price of about $8,350 in this bearish cycle. And so realistically, guys, 83.50 is about right here. It's about right here. So I pretty much averaged into roughly the average of this bottom, I would say, about the average. We have these high points here, we have these low points here. I'm pretty much at the middle ground of that. And so for me, that's a perfect um, example of how to la average into a position, how to ladder in and actually buy up the majority of the retrace, even if it goes a little bit lower than you were expecting. I'm still in at a pretty mid average point of this correction. And so I'm happy as hell, guys. I did my part by not listening to the fear. I did my part by just accumulating with a sound strategy. I stuck to my plan and traded it. And now I'm in profit on an average of my positions. And so this is really exciting to see for Bitcoin. The fact that we've broken out of this falling wedge, the falling wedge is a very bullish chart pattern. It's one of the more bullish chart patterns we're going to see. I expect this one to get very impulsive. The fact that it's impulsing and breaking out right after the new year has been something I've updated you guys with previously and I've told you to keep an eye on because new year is our a time of reversal. In fact, if we go through and analyze before we wrap up this video, the new year was a reversal for Bitcoin. We made our first lower high, but about right here. We started the reversal shortly after um, the new year. Then we go to another new year, 2019, January 1st, right here, roughly right here. This is the second, but either way, it's close enough. We had another reversal that took place. And now a year from that point would have been right here. And then we have a, another reversal from the bottom of this bear cycle. And so overall, guys, this is sticking to my analysis very nicely. I'm not trying to complicate things. I'm just trying to show you guys kind of what I'm watching for. The fact that the next impulse is going to be the biggest one of this cycle. I'm very, very excited to see kind of what's coming from this. And so I wanted to keep you guys all updated with some thoughts and analysis inside of Bitcoin. I wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page together. We're all accumulating. We're all making sure that we're um, ready to profit for this next hype cycle. Because at the end of the day, guys, the best thing that we're going to be able to do for ourselves is just accumulate while everybody else is fearful. Altcoin markets have been dropping significantly, and we've had a, such a good opportunity to just accumulate at cheap prices. And it's very important that we continue to do so. Stick to a trading plan, trade your plan all the way through, and just make sure you're not listening to any external forces. At the end of the day, this is a long-term game. All of my positions I accumulated inside of this bear cycle were for the long term. I plan on holding these at least till the end of 2021 because I do believe that's about how long the cycle will last and then that's when I'm going to scale out now realistically guys my target for Bitcoin in the long term is going to be 200k um, I very easily think that we're going to hit up well I don't say I shouldn't say I very easily think we'll hit that but I do believe that we'll hit about 200k in this next cycle and we should see something along the lines of this just a very very parabolic cycle something kind of like what happened in the last cycle where we had this ramp up that took place just slow build up and then in our final five wave impulse was the biggest one and we saw us go from 3k all the way up to 20k and so i think that with this next cycle we're still finishing out the one wave the one wave impulse i think this could very easily take us to about 30 to 40k we might sell off back down close to that all-time high market 20k we'll get another three wave three wave impulse that probably will take us around 100k and then I think that that uh, final five wave impulse could very easily see us go from 75K to 200K, something along the lines of that, just because of how parabolic the five wave was in the last cycle and how parabolic the five waves are previously in Bitcoin cycles. So anyways, guys, this is the analysis I had for you. I hope you found immense value watching this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this more channel for more updates in the future. If you're looking for signals, you want to copy my investment advice going into this next massive bull run, I highly recommend you guys join my discord server by clicking the invitation link in the description of this video there you're going to get access to my discord server where you can join this private signals group you can also look out for my course um, my course has 20 different educational videos so that you guys can watch and learn all of the same strategies that I use to profit inside of the market. So make sure you guys check that out. You guys can get a hold of me on all of my social media handles. They're all located in the description of this video. So make sure that you guys hit me up on one of those platforms. With all that being said, guys, thank you all so much for the support. I will catch you in the next video. As always, peace out.